So if you have integrity, then you make sure that, you know, I signed in the contract of employment that I should be at work at 7. Why not go at 6.45? Okay? And so that by the time I reach, it's 7 o'clock. So if you're clocking in the right time and even doing more, you know, the bosses see and promotion comes quicker. Isn't it? Yeah. So you find that in most organizations, you find that people have been promoted not because they got a degree, not because they got a certificate, but because of their commitment and their proactivity, able to learn new things. Be a person who says, ah, okay, this is how you know, maybe this department is right. Let me ask questions. Then when you start asking questions, they'll know that you're really committed, you're really interested in the whole hotel system. And one day, it might happen that my brother is not there. They'll know that she can do the job. They'll just say, go and please help. And once you become valu valuable to the organization, even the salary will do it. Will go up. They'll, they'll remember you when that time comes when they're increasing salaries. That's how we should see it. We shouldn't just see it in a way that we come here to make money, get a salary, go home, come again, miserable. No, we spend most of the time here. So Pretoria Hotel becomes a family. All the work colleagues are your family members now, isn't it? Because you actually spend more time with them than your actual family. So. Why not live in peace? Why not work together nicely so that you see that the hotel grows? And when it grows, who knows? You might be, they might buy another, another building. And because you've gone through all the departments, they'll say, I think she can manage it. Or he can manage the hotel. Can you? This one. Which one? The second one. The second one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So She's growing. You know, she's so. growing. Yeah. So you can be transferred and become a branch manager there <laughs> because of your commitment. Yeah. So commitment, once commitment is there, there will be productivity in that more customers will start coming because they know that there is good service. They will know that they will be in a room that is clean, not smelling. And those that are in hospitality, make sure that you do the best, not just quickly, quickly, and then you say you are done. A customer is a very unique human being. He wants the best. Every customer has a goal. They have needs. They want to be satisfied. They are paying. They are using their money. And remember, it's their money that brings <coughs> salary at the end of the day. So it's important that we, we do the best, the best that we can ever do. That's on person, on your personal growth. And you find that, you know, when you, you are in that level where you're doing things in your own time, nicely, with a willing heart, things start coming, favor starts coming on your life. Even financially, you'll find they'll just increase your salary without even waiting for the end of the year. In fact, the salary is not supposed to be increased at the end of the year. It's supposed to be increased when they notice that this one is really committed. They don't dodge from work. <laughs> they don't become sick because they are moody. You know, we all pass through that. There are times when you wake up in the morning and you are just moody and say, I'm not going. And you even phone and change the voice. Hello. That's <laughs> 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 the power of the mind. You understand? The power of the mind. This one is a part of you. It can make you happy. It can make you sad. It depends on what you want. So when you feel that way, just rebuke this body and say, hey, pick up yourself. Let's go. I need to find a week. But if you start entertaining those thoughts, you find that it becomes a habit. That's how you develop a habit. Mm -hmm. Even when you just feel like oh, you just say, oh, go, she understands. But at the end of the day, you are hating yourself in that you are weakening your mind. Plus, you won't learn more things because every day brings new challenges, isn't it? Yeah. So let's learn to love our job. Just say, I love my job. I, love my job. I will love my job. I will love my job. Every day. Every day. Yeah. So it's important that you know when you wake up, just stand in the mirror. Sometimes you know build your self-esteem. When you come positively, you know that you affect the others. Have you seen people who are moody? 
It's not nice to work with and the atmosphere just changes. Mm. Or those who are in gossip, when you come people keep quiet because you know that you want to pick mm. what is she wearing today? Mm. What did she buy? Where is she staying? You know, things like that. Which shop does she go to? But we don't need to be like that. We need to be in a, in a level where we value questions. What case is success? We were here. Success to different people has a lot of different meanings. My brother here might define success in a different way. Maybe to him is money and 20 wives. That's success. If he manages to marry the 20, it's a successful man. My brother there it also might be different. Maybe to him, he's having that cash. If he has the dollars in his pockets, that he feels is a man, he's successful. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then, my brother next there, when he gets that Mercedes Benz, or the Audi, or the BMW 730, then he's, he's successful. So success has different meanings. To the ladies, Maybe for you, success is to make sure that you have a dream house. If you have shelter for your kids and your family, then you feel, ah, I'm successful. So I'll pose this question to you. What is success to you, my sister? How would you define success in your life? In my life? Yes. In my life, success, success is to see my children grow now. OK. Then Go to school, go to school. Okay. Then I will see that I've You've done. I've done. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That's a good one. You know, every parent has that dream to see their kids reach where you want them to be. Mm -hmm. To be independent one day. And keep you when you grow old. Because we are not getting any younger. I was just sharing with the, uh, our floor manager today, Eli Swabet. A few days ago, I discovered that I have started grey hair. So, we are not getting any younger. We need to achieve our dreams. We need to make sure we plan. We need to love what we do. And love ourselves too. My sister, at the end, what is success to you? Uh, I think uh, working hard. Working hard? Yeah. Can be success if you are working hard. Then you will be successful. Yeah. So you can see that every one of us has a different definition of success. But whatever definition that you have, just make sure that you start working towards that. You start doing things that will make you reach your goals much quicker. For instance, the lady here who wants to see her children in school. You know the best way to do it? It's difficult to say, okay, from my salary, I'll be able to pay for it. Because there are other needs as well. Mm -hmm. So she can make up a plan to say, okay, if I want my kids to go into university and have enough money by then, then maybe get a policy, an education policy which grows. You understand? That way, by the time they are 16, it will mature and there will be a lot of money. Then you won't worry about you know paying from your pocket. Mm -hmm. That's how she can do it. The one who's saying success is working hard to achieve my goals should make sure that in an area of field, whatever she's doing, she gets some training. That's why it's important that you can, because you want to move to another level, is it? Yes. Yeah. And just after this, just on your own, just go and thank management to say thank you so much that you you are able to take us for training. Very few companies do that. They don't have the time. All they want is just money to come through. You, you understand? But in every institution, without the employee skilled, trained, the business falls down. Most of the business that have been falling down, if you check them, you find that the staff are demotivated, the staff not training. Because you can't just bring somebody to their say, go and make tea. They will make very, 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 very <laughs> untasty tea. You understand? You can't just pick somebody and say, oh, go at the reception. And there you will be busy dancing and chewing gum and doing all these funny things. People wonder, why, what is this hotel all about? But if you are there and say, good morning, how can I help you? You know, just that warmth 
or attract many people. Okay. I've been to hotels where just at the reception, just because of the person answering, you say, let's go and look for another hotel. And you miss business, you understand? Maybe I'm staying here and coming down the lift, I meet maybe her, she's also in another department, and then ask her, do you know where I can find the canteen? She says, mind your own business. <laughs> you think <laughs> that she's a member of staff, you know? That's where we see that, you know, to succeed in whatever you do, love it and treat them well. Especially a customer, treat them well. And more customers will come, more money will come in the organization, more promotions will happen, but if there is no customer service, things continue going down. Now let's look at this definition. The achievement of anything wished for and the things you attract by the person you want to become, that's success. The things you attract and the things that you think will help you to attain that goal that you have, that is success. Okay? Now, we are here today because we are in this hotel industry which is flowing like a river. Okay? The hotel industry is <coughs> competitive and uh, it flows, it doesn't stay at one place. That's why we need to grow in our field, we need to learn in our field, we need to get training in our field so that we can be like a river. A river doesn't stay still. You won't drink the same water that passed yesterday to be new water. So we need to learn new things. We are in a new age of technology. We need to know the new technology that is going on in the industry. We need to get more training, especially training is very important, so that you can be effective. Those that are maybe in IT, you know, most bookings these days are done online. So we need an IT department that is competitive. So we can't just employ anyone. We need somebody with skill or train those that started, you know, from, from a clerical level or whatever position, isn't it? Because we all grow. Okay. So that's customer service. We're going to look at customer service, which is the key to any business. It's the combination key to unlock people to come in or close the door for people not to come to the business. Now, if you look at the screen, you will see a horse there. I think most businesses these days are like that because of lack of customer service. They are sinking instead of just standing. So, you are now, the people around that horse, Pretoria Hof, to rescue it from that ditch. And what you do is, someone will hold the hand, somebody will make you hold the mouth, until you remove that, that horse from the ditch. And you can only do that when you learn good customer service and working as a team. So you need to come out of that trouble. The businesses need to come out of that trouble. Most businesses are facing financial problems because of lack of customer service. There's no customer to buy their products because of the words we speak sometimes. You know, as a minister of the gospel, in the Bible, there's a scripture that says, the tongue has power. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So if the way you respond to a customer, you can either chase or attract. Just by, in fact, customers are not even difficult. Just a greeting, hello, good morning, how can I help you? Just that, it goes a long way to somebody's heart. Just like when you visit any other new place, when you are welcomed, you feel like staying, isn't it? But you go and visit this friend, Hey, she's just walking around, no welcome, not even water. You will know that here, I don't think I can stay. That's the way it is. The way you welcome visitors in your house is the way you welcome visitors in the business. There's no difference. Then number two is that as we start now in this customer service journey, we need to aim high. Aim for great heights, not aiming low. We should make sure that we give the best service that 
no one will ever forget.